Hi, I'm Danny with TriPoint Refrigeration. We have been testing water filters for about the last six or eight hours. Um, and we have come to a conclusion. I had a friend tell me a few weeks ago that if you're not reevaluating processes and procedures every two or three years, that you're doing something wrong. Um, so we have decided to reevaluate re the water filters that we have currently been using for the last three years. Um, and these, this is our conclusions. Um, we tested a mystery filter, a uh, very cheap mystery filter we were able to get on Amazon. We tested the kind of the industry standard filter for ice machines, the Everpure i2000. We tested another filter that we actually cut in half here um, from a variable, very rec um, recommended and high quality filter company in the United States. And then we tested our TP2000 that we've been with for three or four years now. So you can see here we have a regular um, carbon block filter. Inside of this filter, we've got a phosphate media. See that phosphate media. So basically as these filters work, we've got water that comes in, the water filters through the carbon, the carbon removes, removes chlorine. Um, it filters through the phosphate media. The phosphate attaches to the water and inhibits scale. What that means is as that scale goes through your machine, it keeps the scale from sticking to the inside of your machine and, and, and scaling up the machine and sends the scale on down the drain. Uh, it basically keeps it from sticking. We're gonna add five milliliters, five milliliters of water up to that line. As you can see, I got exactly five milliliters of water. Take our phosphate solution, and we're gonna do six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just kind of mix it up here. And we did testing, we did all of these tests on all of these filters earlier. So we got that one mixed, now we're gonna go with solution two. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna go ahead and mix that up. So as you can see, it's already starting to turn a very dark green. And after we wait about three minutes, we'll compare it to this chart and we'll see about how much phosphate we actually are getting into the machine. I mean, it's full of phosphate. Set that down. We'll just Hey, look at that. I mean, it's, this thing is chocked full of phosphate. And it seems to be a little bit better quality. How clear it is. Most of the pebble sizes are pretty consistent. Uh, all of our other phosphates, we've had just random sizes, different consistencies. And an activated carbon block. Not mushy, not really, the other ones you could kind of scrape away, this one you can't. Um, kind of tells me that you're going to get a better quality, that, you know, the water's going to permeate through that filter and give you more contact time to, to pull out chlorine. So what I've done here is I filled the bottle up with regular tap water that we're feeding these filters, we are currently feeding this filter with. I'm going to pour a little bit out to get us down to the five milli. So we're at the five milliliter mark there. Now we're gonna take the chlorine reagent. So what this does is allows us to, in a manner of speaking, allows us to see how much chlorine is actually in the water. 
So I'll pour that in there. And I shake it up. It's a real, real dark pink color. That tells us we've got a lot of chlorine in the water. <clears throat> now, if I take water coming out of this filter here, we're gonna do the exact same test that we did on the water coming in that gave us a really hot pink. Lots of chlorine in the water. And I'm gonna shake that up. See the difference here? Lots of chlorine, not much chlorine. Let's go back to our phosphate and look at that. If I get that phosphate up there, I mean, that's right at about one parts per million phosphate. That's gonna allow scale to attach to the phosphate and not to the inside of your ice machine. The first time that we tested this filter, which is this one right here, we got no chlorine. The second time we tested it, we got quite a bit of chlorine. So we're gonna test it again. The big problem that I'm running into is there's no reliability with this filter. Um, every time that we test this filter, we get different results. These filters, albeit they're not great, we don't get the type of filtration that we want, they're at least consistent. This filter, we found no consistency. So we're gonna test it again and see if we get a, another result in the, in the chlorine test. There's a little seam right here and I'm just gonna try to hit that seam. We just wanna see what's inside this filter. So again, we've got a pretty, I can't, I can't get that one out. Let's see if I can get this one out. Here we go. Got nothing down in there, carbon. So we've got some, like, we've got phosphate here. What is that, like gold shavings it looks like? I mean, that's a lot of gold. There, that can't be, there's no way. <laughs> so we just tested this one again. And again, we've got quite a bit of chlorine uh, coming through this filter. And we've tested multiple filters. So as the first test that we got, we that had no chlorine. The second test, and the third test, and the fourth test, we've had chlorine. Um, so it just goes to show you, the cheap Amazon filters, not the ticket, not when you're trying to pr protect your investment on, ice, on an ice machine. This filter is adding a little bit of phosphate. We're 0.25 parts per million. So here is the I-2000 water filter. Tap water from the filter. We're not re removing much chlorine at all here. This is phosphates from the filter. Throw this on this little chart here. Almost no phosphate in the water. Just a regular canister, plastic coated. That seems to be all of the phosphate down in the I two thousand. Not a lot. tube for the filter and can't get that out of there.
That's just a carbon mush. It's not a solid block of carbon. It's inside there. Just a net, a filter. Uh, So that's what filters, it's gotta be where it filters through. Strange take, too bad it doesn't work very well. So as you can see here, we've got a lot of chlorine in this water. So now we've tested our phosphate. So we check here. We're right at about, looks like 0.25, maybe a little bit, almost no phosphate in the water. So by all testing, I expected this filter to beat out. I expected this filter to be number one. And I expected the I2000 as an industry standard to be a great filter, and what I found is it's not. Um, this filter's providing the exact kind of filtration that we want for our customers. Um, and so again, here in about two or three years, we're gonna test out again. We're gonna find some more filters out there on the market and see which ones will, can compete. Because I seriously expected all of these to compete with this filter and they don't. Um, so if you have any questions, we sell this filter uh, for $104.95. Um, every once in a while we'll do a sell where you can get the filter. If you buy the filter, you'll get the filter head for free. Um, we recommend these, machine, these filters on every one of the ice machines that we sell and, and clean. Every machine that we lease, we put these filters on there, and we recommend this filter be changed about every six months.